Hello! So we're still in Laurier Woods. This time I want to show you how to actually measure along your transect line. So there are two ways to do this. You can either count every single plant you see or you can choose intercept points. So if I was going to do every single plant, now I've brought a ruler with me. Sadly this one's in inches because my father's a cabinet maker and they use inches a lot of the time. You probably have one of these or have access to one of these. I know that 10 centimeters is just shy of four inches and that 20 centimeters is one eighth of an inch shy of eight inches. So that mark right there. So I'm gonna use this and do 10 centimeter intervals or 20 centimeter intervals. So from my first one, I can see that, I, and I can say for the first 20 centimeters, it's all raspberry. Or I can say 10 centimeter raspberry, 20 centimeter raspberry. So that is a little bit different. So then I'm going to mark where that is. And then my next 20 centimeters, I can either say that for the first 10, there's a bunch berry underneath the line. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. Those are bunch berries. This purple loose strife that's right beside it is not on the line, so I'm not counting it. So I can say that there's a bunch berry in the first 10 or and grass at the second 10, or I can just say that at my 20 centimeter interval, there's grass. And then I can do that again, mark where my 20 centimeters is. Now at my next 20 centimeter interval, there is a blackberry shrub. And then I can mark that and at my next 20 centimeter interval, there is a raspberry underneath there. So you're just doing what's at those points. So that can be how you do it or you can measure everything. It's up to you, it's your project, but remember to record how you do it so that you can write a good methodology. People won't care. Also, if you're having trouble with the species, I'm gonna flip this over. If you're having trouble with the species, remember that you don't need to do it by species, you can do it by form. So the cattails are broadleaf emergence, right? You don't need to know what species of cattail they are. And those raspberries and blackberries, they have woody tissue. So they're low shrubs, LS because they're under a meter tall. And that little bunchberry down there was a herbaceous plant. So it's GC for ground cover. So is that purple loosestrife. It doesn't have any woody tissue. So it's GC. So is all this beautiful yellow goldenrod it is GC, ground cover. Most things, most plants that you're gonna come across, you're like, I have no idea what this is. Ground cover. All of these grasses, I know they're Canada blue joint, but you might not know that, but they're narrow leafed emergence. So if you're struggling with those species ID, you can just use those forms. That's why I gave you that detail. And here I have a speckled alder tree, but it's lower than six. Oh, there's some geese flying. <laughs> the speckled alder is lower than six meters. So it is a tall shrub because it's greater than one meter less than six. All right, good luck.